After a command is executed, information is often displayed on the screen. For example, if you typed in x is equal to 5 plus 2, after execution, x equals 7 will be printed on the screen. You can suppress output by placing a semicolon after the command. The disp function allows you to print off whatever is in between the parentheses. For example, if you said disp of x, that will print off the value stored in the variable x. You also can print off text, but the text must be within single quotes. You can print off a combination of number and character strings by using the num to string function. The input function will allow your program to obtain input from the user and store that information in a variable. It's often very useful to provide information to the user so he or she will know what they should be inputting into the program. When the input function is executed, the program will halt until the user provides input and then hits enter. There are two options for obtaining character string input from the user. If you include the S flag in the input function, the user will not have to type in the text within single quotes. However, if the S flag is left off, the user must put single quotes around the text that they want to include as input. So let's look at some examples. If we say x is equal to 7, it'll print off x equals 7 to the screen. If we don't want to print off the x equals, we can say disp of x, and it will just say 7. We can also display the result of a mathematical operation. We can display text within single quotes. If you have a character variable, such as, we'll say hello equals hi, you can just display uh, the contents of hello uh, by just saying disp hello. That will print off hi. If you'd like to display a combination of numbers and text, you can use the num to string command. You must put the text within single quotes and you must take whatever number that you want to display, in this case x, you must put that within the num to string function. And around that, the entire command, you must put brackets. We'll understand why later when we discuss arrays. Now let's get some input from the user. I would like the user to input a certain amount of hours, whatever the user likes. So we'll say hours is equal to input and will give some helpful information to the user so the user will know what to do. Enter number of hours. So now the program will wait until the user inputs a certain amount of hours. In this case, let's say three. So the variable hours now has the value three stored in it. And we can use it to, for example, calculate minutes. Now let's have the user input some text. So we'll say name, enter your name. Notice how I did not use the S flag. So in this case, I must use single quotes around my name. So the characters P-A-U-L get stored in name. 
what if I did, if, if I entered this command again, but did not put my name within single quotes? We'll get an error because it is looking for a variable named Paul that stores numerical data. But such a variable does not exist. If we want the user to be able to input their name without putting single quotes around it when they enter in the information, we can use the S flag. And everything works out. It is possible for the user to input multiple pieces of information uh, using the input function, but we will discuss this later when we discuss arrays 